hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening depends on where you are watching me from and i hope you guys are doing perfectly fine so today guys i just want to explain some skin problem a lot of people are facing so i was once a victim it's not a big day you don't need to uh, uh, skin shame yourself if you have a problem this video is actually for you so i think there are a lot of people most of most of especially those of you who wrote me and start asking me what to do and and there are still a lot of people who don't they don't have the courage to ask but because they think you might turn them down if they ask about what to use on their skin and for those of you who ask thank you for your courage and may god bless you so first of all guys good morning good afternoon good evening first, depends on where you are watching me from and i hope you guys are doing perfectly fine so today guys we are doing this video in my bedroom because it's quite bright and everywhere is beautiful and you can see everything clearly compared to my room is kind of today's sun is just so amazing and it's not making it's not doing justice to my to my camera because i need something cool that is not too sharp just like the way just like this place particular place right now okay so guys today we just want to be talking about skin problem and how to solve them i would say i'm perfect no but there are things i can actually recommend or suggest for you to do that can easily help get rid of those skin problems you are having it i was once a victim for skin uh uh, patches skin tag eczema nobody as far as you are a lady and you are using any product that it doesn't match with your skin those things are very very common to have okay so first of all guys i would love to talk about skin tag so if case of if case you don't know what is skin tag most of most people don't know what is skin tag and they don't feel skin tag can and they don't know how what causes the cause of skin tag they all feel like skin tag is caused maybe probably when you are aged when you are getting old when probably when your hair is above 30 30 something above that no 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 that is not it that is not it guys there are some products that can easily cause skin tag okay when i mean skin tag it's not those big big ones there are some skin tag that look like rashes that comes out from your skin probably if you are using any product probably the product is doesn't run with your uh, skin cell it can actually lead to skin tag believe in me you just have to stop because i've been a victim before i know what i'm saying okay so that is just it and please if you have a skin tag there is nothing you can do about it just check yourself if you don't have it before and the thing is coming out like rashes and by the time you leave it the time will start growing and you just have to stop whatever product you are using believe in me that might be the cause it's not all days it's not like you are getting hold no 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 i know what i'm saying i've been there i've noticed it on my skin before okay so the next one i will the reason why i'm doing this video is more because of, uh, most especially because of those people who have been sending me pictures of their skin i so much appreciate your courage may god bless you so nobody is perfect like me i do ask questions there was a time when i have eczema i was just doing when i have eczema at my back i was just doing research what to get how to get rid of it what really good. thank god i use potash potash is actually good when you have eczema it's actually good potash and honey you can just mix together use it like that it doesn't matter you have to use it continue using it you don't have to use for one week two weeks to just be using it or thing you that eczema is off of your skin okay so that is just it and most not only that there are a lot of people who still have skin patches white patches on your skin let me tell you the reason why you have white patches so sometimes if you are using a product most especially with that product is not good on your skin and most especially organic product that is why i do advise people if you want to use organic product make sure the organic product is not that approved and is a is a, is a complaint that you know is well recognized and if case anything 
is wrong with your skin you can actually go and meet them they will tell you okay sorry probably this is what you need to do probably you didn't check your skin type before you apply the product probably the product is not for you so you can know the next step to take you understand and also guys organic cream there are some people right now and most of most of the people sending me pictures are the most that let me say 50 percent of them are the ones that have used organic products like there are this organic product not some will not out of them that is why i'm very 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 scared to use anything organic cream on my skin itself maybe like there are some people i can make sure their name that is well known that i know their product is really good but compared to this upcoming organic cream sellers they don't know what to miss with it they just want to miss it as far as it lighting up your skin as far as it's whitening up your skin that is what they know about product they just think all it takes is just for you to have that whitening skin that uh, uh lightening skin they don't even care about how healthy your skin should be the process of you lighting up your skin or brightening up your skin you understand so they just they are just concerned about how why how quick on how easy it will work for you which is not supposed to be so okay so there are some organic products maybe probably that cost skin patches white patches probably that product is expired not only organic product even company product before you get any product in any uh, cosmetic shop make sure you look at the uh, dates it's very very important to check the date of any cream you are using make sure the cream still have like two to three years one year interval before it expired so like me if i want to get any product even if the product is expiring six months time i don't go for it i don't go for it okay because if i'm using it i don't know sometimes our cream to last us more than six months seven months we, you can't you can't say because first you are you are just using it you can't you don't have the patience to check the date all the time when you are applying your product you know you understand so please if you have white patches on your skin it's what you actually need to do like for the eczema eczema is good for potash and only mix it together apply it in that place and for white uh, for white patches guys if you have white patches please 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 don't be afraid of probably you will get darker or you will, your skin uh, tone will change please go for raw shea butter go for raw shea butter use raw shea butter in the maximum of let me say one month use it so that your skin will blend together before you can sit down and know think of the next product to use on your skin okay go for raw shea butter if you don't want to use raw shea butter let me tell you guys there are some products that is quite expensive when i said shea butter people will say ah shea butter is not expensive now how would that work because people prefer going for expensive product because they think that because it's expensive it will actually work on their skin knowing fully where there are some cheap product that work easily on your skin like shea butter all those normal oil that we normally get in the supermarket you can apply it on your skin directly like olive oil when you have skin problem when you have skin discoloration like skin well white patches black patches anything you have on your skin just quit whatever you are using any product you are using quit it use shea butter please don't be afraid even if it, it darken up your skin there is no way shea butter will darken your skin and make you dark it will only give you the natural skin that you have if you are a dark person fair person before it will only turn you back to your natural skin it's not going to darken you like charcoal so it's all you need to do what you are concerned about is how to get rid of your skin problem okay if you have skin discoloration before you jump into any lightning product whitening product you have to take it you have to clear those things from your skin before you go into any product if you don't want to worsen this situation okay go for raw shea butter okay go for raw shea butter so for me each time i notice i have anything on my skin you see this guys each time i notice i have anything on my skin i don't understand i just take my time and like two weeks three weeks just be doing it does make any different from your skin to make you look dark or to make you look uh like someone who is uh, who is skin is suffering no if you can use shea butter you can actually go for jojoba oil guys 
Go for jojoba oil or play glycerin. Choose those three things on your skin directly. For the maximum, anytime you just feel like you want to stop, as far as the problem is solved, stop it. But if the problem is still there and you think the product is the, the, the oil or the shea butter is working, keep on using it, guys. It's actually good. So that is what I just want to say. Please, 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 if you have any skin problem like skin discoloration, skin tag, skin discoloration or skin tag can easily cause by expiring products or the product that is not good on your skin you can stop and if you have it already you have skin patch already on your skin all you just need to do is to stop it and go for raw shea butter in the process of you using raw shea butter you will notice that even if you are having stretch marks if it will help reduce the surface of your stretch mark so that is just it for this video and thank you guys for watching i hope what I just explained now can help a lot of people. So it's not every time missing, 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 missing. We have to be talking about how to get your skin back. Okay, if you have a skin problem, go for shea butter, jojoba oil. You can also you can actually use a sweet almond oil all, all over your skin, glycerin, pure glycerin. You can actually use this all over your skin without promising with any product. It's actually good. Believe me, it will help you bounce back to your skin and all your skin problems will be solved. You don't need to be buying everything buying a boot just to get just to maintain or just to repair your skin. Those oil are actually good, most especially shea butter rush share butter if you can get the real one guys it's actually good so thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video to have a blessed and wonderful day bye bye i love you okay don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell